So this question is a translate word problem question. So we want to read it um, one sentence at a time and make sure we are writing down any quantitative information. So the first sentence says the maximum value of a data set consisting of 25 positive integers is 84. So I'm going to just write, I'm going to write that down in a visual way. So I'm going to say, hey, I have this data set and I'll just kind of do some dots here. And at the end of that data set is 80, the number 84. And I know that all together, this is 25 positive integers. So 25 positive int. So that's my data set. The next sentence says, a new data set consisting of 26 positive integers is created by including 96 in the original data set. Okay, so I have data set 1 here then. So for data set 2, I'd have the exact same set of numbers, including the 84. But I'm going to also add in a 96, right? So now I have 26 positive integers. And again, right now I'm just translating what I read. The next sentence says, which of the following measures must be 12 greater for the new data set than for the original data set? Okay, so let's see. So the first answer choice here is the mean. So the mean is, um, we don't know what it is, first of all, but the mean we would be able to calculate by adding up all of the 25 terms here in data set 1 and then dividing by 25, and then comparing that to adding up all 26 of the terms here in data set 2 and dividing by 26, what we know is that the only difference between data set 1 and 2 is the 96 here, right? So the sum, right, when we add up all the terms of data set 2, it'll be 96 higher than data set 1 was. But don't forget, we have to divide by 26, right? So 96, an additional 96, and dividing them by 26 will not get us to 12 greater for data set 2. So answer choice A is gone. The median is just a middle number, right? So we're going to say, well, I don't know what that middle number is for data set 1. I don't know what it is for data set 2. It could very well be that shifting um, by adding another number here that the median here is 12 higher than here. But I don't know that for sure. So that's more of a could be true not a must be true, so choice B is gone. And then for choice C, the range, well, the range for data set 1, right, is 84 minus the lowest value, which I'll call X. And for data set 2, it's 96 minus that lowest value. And that will give you a difference of 12, right? So C is the best answer here. Standard deviation is no good.